So we'll go ahead and start. If you want to get yourself into a meditation posture. And stabilize yourself using body awareness. Feel the weight of yourself on the chair or the cushion and shift until you feel that you're being held by your posture as opposed to straining to go into it. Release any tension that you might be carrying. Scan from the top of the head down to the tip of the toes, noticing and releasing any stress you might find there. And then shift your focus to the breath. A witness to your own breath, not a judge, not controlling. Just a witness.
and choosing not to reminisce or to anticipate. A very kind discipline of returning to the breath again and again, whenever your thoughts stray. And as the mind settles, invite back in the altruistic intention that we do this practice and this study in order to develop our fullest potential. And in this way, causing less harm, being of more benefit, internally having less suffering and more happiness, externally being a stronger condition of benefit for others. And now shift to analysis. And we're going to investigate the literal or the metaphoric six realms. And so start with the God realm, which is a manifestation of pride. And ask yourself, when in this human experience do I behave like a God realm being? Meaning, when am I so absorbed in pleasures, in entertainment, in comfort, that I forget about the needs of others? Or I look down on others who haven't organized their lives in the same way. So try to just identify, when am I as if in the God realm? even within this one human life. Just indulgent, just enjoying, and so consumed by that that I forget others or don't notice their plight.
And then asking yourself, when am I in this similar state of indulgence, of entertainment seeking, of just enjoying all of the boon of my previous positive karma. But instead of feeling proud, I feel jealous of those who have slightly more. Maybe their family is slightly more harmonious. Maybe others seem slightly more attractive or wealthy or educated. Maybe their status is something we feel we deserve. But just try and identify when do you get into that demigod realm? A mindful of indulgence as well as competitiveness and jealousy. Try and find any of those tendencies within yourself. If we see ourselves more clearly, we're less likely to fall into these traps. So dig deep. And asking ourselves, when are we as if in the animal realm, a mind consumed with ignorance about the past and future, about development, when we're just in a haze of trying to get resources, hoard resources, Many attachment plans, some fear. Maybe our version of the animal realm is more seemingly benign like a house cat, or maybe it's more aggressive like a predator in the wild. But just try and see that aspect of your habit patterns that is animal-like. And shifting to looking at the hungry ghost realm of miserliness, addiction, this kind of greed that can never be satisfied, 
When are we in this state metaphorically in this human life? Wanting to consume and acquire, but once we get it, it doesn't feel satisfying. It's not enough. When are we like this? And is there even a time when this slides into hatred, like a hell realm, full of fire or full of ice, where we've let our hatred consume the mind such that we've created a hell for ourselves? Is it a flash here and there, maybe road rage? Is it brought on by disappointment or feeling disrespected? But when are those flashes where we are almost as if a hell realm being, suffering from the hatred in our own mind? And so conclude that even though your human life might not seem perfect, it actually is perfect. You have enough suffering and enough happiness. Enough suffering to be curious about why, how to solve it, how to use and transform it. Enough happiness and support to pursue those things and to reach out to benefit others as well. So decide very firmly to make the best use of this human life, to bring meaning to it.
through the power of these thoughts, may we become embodied into our fullest potential in order to be of greatest benefit to self and others. And you can relax your attention. Thanks.